Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be showing you a game you can make on Scratch. So what the game is, is you have two sprites, one on the right side of the screen and one on the left side of the screen. And also they're going to be shooting at each other with other sprites. So the first thing you can do to start this project is for, get rid of the cat and go and choose some sprites that you can play this game with. I see there's two divers here. Um, I guess they're going to be good, so get one of them. You can pick whatever you want if it fits. And let's change the size. Maybe that's too small. So that's 75. Yeah, that should be good. And then on this side, let's say. And don't forget to get the other sprite too. Diver 2. And don't forget to change the size. 75. And also flip him around, right? We need to flip him around, right? Because he needs to be facing this other diver. So as you saw in a previous project, this would not work because it just flips the diver completely upside down. So we don't want that. We just want it to flip around so it faces that way, but it's still up. So that's where you go to the costumes bar and you just click flip horizontal. And he flips and you can go back. Like always, you have to start with a when green flag clicked block and this game you will need the, th the sprite to do something forever and that something is you're gonna need it to go up when a, a certain key is pressed and down when a certain key is pressed so that's where you need an if if a key up arrow actually no on, since it's on this side, we need it to be on keys on this side, right? Because if you sit on this side and be that guy. So we should get, like, for example, A. If key A pressed, then it needs to go up. So if it needs to go up, then the Y has to change, right? But does it need to move to change negatively or positively? Well, you might have seen over here. Look over here. Now it's 32. The Y is 32. If I move him up, it's 59. So it needs to go plus 10. So we should change the Y by 10. And you can see it works when I click A, it goes up. And now you need to duplicate that and put it there. Don't forget, under A, the best key is for Z, Z to be down. And it needs to change, it needs to, change to negative 10 because it's going the other way. So let's run it, and I go down with Z and up with A. And as you can see, it works. Next, we need to make sure the diver always stays in this position. Like, for example, it doesn't go here on accident or something. So we need the go to X and Y. The X has to be um, around negative 180 because that's what the position over here is, if you round it up a bit. And then Y would be around 0, because it's in the center line. So it always will start right there. Like, see, if I move it over here, and I start it again, it just goes to the spot I picked. Now, we need to make sure this code goes to the other diver, too. So we should duplicate it, but instead of duplicating it, and then putting it in the diver tool, that's what this backpack is good for. So it says, when you open up the backpack by clicking that, then it, you'll see it says backpack is empty. And you put this piece of code inside of the backpack. When the backpack turns out like a blue, it's inside. And now close the backpack, go to diver tool, open up the backpack, and take the code and drop it here. And I see it's right there, but we need to adjust some things. So the first thing we need to adjust is it needs to start at X 180 
and y is the, the y is still zero because it still needs to be on the zero line of the y. And the key for going up is going to be the up arrow, and the key for going down is going to be the down arrow. And if you click it to start, you'll see that this one goes up with the up arrow and down with the down arrow. This one up with the A and down with the Z, like we said we should do. Now we need to get some sprites for them to shoot each other with. So let's go pick some sprites. So let's see, what would a diver shoot with? Um, I really don't know. Let's say it shoots with a fish. So there's this puffer fish here. He looks pretty cute. Let's pick him. And don't forget to change his size to 50, maybe? That's still a bit too big. So let's change it down to 30, for example. And that should be just right. And we need to get one more sprite. And let's get it. Um, let's see. Um, I found it. It should be the starfish, I guess. So that's pretty big, right? So don't forget to change the size. 50. A bit too big still. Let's try 30 like the other one. And that should be good. Don't forget to flip it around, cause in case flip the one around where you're gonna shoot from this side. So if you shoot from this guy, then it needs to be flipped around, cause it's going that way. So I'm gonna pick the starfish to flip around, and f just the flip horizontal button. It's flipped around, and now I can get to the coding part. So the first thing we should do is get a when green flag clicked block and then get the forever block because it's going to be doing something forever. At the beginning we want it to hide so since I'm doing the puffer fish first we want it to hide so a new block you go here to the looks category and you find this block it just hide it's just simple and now we need an if because inside of that if we're going to make this guy go to the diver if a certain key is pressed so that it can shoot. So let's get that if. And if key, um, a good key for this one is going to be X because it's right next to the others. And we have to make it show and then go to diver one. Well, actually, it's better to have the go to diver one right before the show. So then it first goes to diver one and then it shows because otherwise it would show and it might show in a different position and then go to diver one. So let's change it up this way, and now we need it to go that way if the key X is pressed. So for this, we need it to go move 10 steps, or yeah. But we need a repeat, because we need to do that more times than just 10. So let's get a repeat, and let's make it repeat for, let's say, 30 times, move 10 steps. Sure, that seems good. And then if I press X, it goes, but then it hides right at this guy's head. So maybe we should make it 35, repeat 35 times. You run it, X, that should be pretty good. Now we need to copy the script and move it to the starfish. So again, we open the backpack, put it, we put it in the backpack. And make sure you remember which one it is. Close the backpack. Go to the starfish. Open up the backpack. And get the script. Once you put it in there, we need to make a couple of changes. So first of all, it needs to go to Diver 2 before the show. Because it's going to be shooting to the other diver. And we need to go the other way. So repeat 35 times 
move negative 10 steps and not the key X we need it to be for example the left arrow and let's start it so up down shoot and then shoot with this guy too and it all works perfectly now we need to make it do something if the sprite touches the diver on the opposite side so we need an if and put that if inside of the repeat because we need it to repeat so you get if touching since this is the surface it needs to go it needs to touch diver one which is this guy the purple one so it does so it actually touches it and if touching diver one then we let's say we need to make a sound okay so play sound and let's pick a sound so if we go to sounds we can click this button and choose a sound i know a pretty good sound that's pretty short pop it's just a pop and you click it and you play it to make sure it's the one you wanted and then go back to code and then play sound click on this pop play sound pop until done you put that in the if and let's run it and make sure it works so if the surface touches it it pops and now we have to do that for the puffer fish so you go to the puffer fish and do the same thing except you need a couple of changes if touching diver two this time and then let's play the same sound so it doesn't get too messed up oh and we have to add the sound again so you go to sounds click the choose sound button search up any sound you'd like i'm gonna go with pop again and go to code and choose your sound then test it you hit him and then you go up and down this guy works too and as you see they both work now to make the game a bit funner let's add a variable and each variable will be the divers life so the first one let's name it diver one one life and click OK and just keep it there make another variable diver to life press OK don't forget to put diver to life over on this side so it's next to the diver so you need to make the diver to life go to the diver to code and set diver to life to 100 or you can choose whatever you want higher than zero so then you can play and set diver to life to 100 and you go to diver one set diver one life to zero to 100 and go to puffer fish and inside the if we need to put change diver one life by negative one inside of the if and i'll go to starfish and change inside of the if change diver two life by negative one so now let's test it you let's say this guy hits hits the other diver and what he made a mistake i guess because when you hit diver one the diver two life subtracts so this is where we made the mistake because we said change diver one life by negative one if the puffer fish hits it but the puffer fish is actually hitting diver two so we need to change it to diver two and go to the starfish and change it to diver one and now it shouldn't be making any more weird mistakes on that one. and as you can see if this guy just hits it's perfect this guy hits it's perfect 
Now, another fun thing I discovered with this variable is if you click, right click, and you click slider, it has this thing, this slider, which tells you uh, how much health. Like, for example, if this guy hits him, then the slider moves downwards, and if he gets to zero, the slider will go all the way down. And it just, it basically just indicates the life. Add it to this guy too, if you want to. For the final step, we're going to be adding an if where it's basically going to say if diver 2 or diver 1 life equals 0, then stop all and say diver 1 or diver 2 1, whichever got not hit. So get the equal to and get diver 2 because dive if we're on the puffer fish the puffer fish is trying to hit diver 2 so if diver 2 life equals 0 then say uh, diver 1 say diver 1 1 diver 1 1 for two seconds and stop all and duplicate that put it back put it in your backpack and don't forget to drop it into the starfish okay now you got to change it's not diver 2 life it's diver 1 life and here you've got to say diver 2 life then stop all and say diver 2 1 let's test it okay so we start it and they shoot it takes down some of his lives it takes down some of his lives and let's test if one of them gets hit all the way to zero health. Let's check if it says diver 2 or diver 1. So, while we wait, I'll tell you what the next step is. The next step is to add a nice background. So, as you can see, this guy got zero and it says diver 2, 1. Now, like I said, let's add a nice background and let's try to find something that's underwater maybe or something like that oh look underwater one underwater two i kind of like underwater one a bit more so let's add that don't forget to name your project let's name it diver uh versus diver or something whatever you'd like and save now click that save now button thanks for watching i hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time for another fun game.